Bears, and we're going to over. Well, if you're just joining us, the intensity has really heated up in this one. As we watch this one go now to overtime. And it's going to be the magic off the tip. So the overtime period is now ticking away. Should be fun. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. On the court right now for the Hawks. Porter is out there with Nowitzki. Then there's Avery Bradley. Then there's Horford. That pass into the paint. That is a work of art there. Dead on target. For the Orlando Magic, they come into this one following a loss to Oklahoma City. And good on the basket. Book it. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. That's right. Five of their last six makes were on the interior. They've established their inside presence. Lopez kicks to Berea, and he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. And, and you can tolerate gaps like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Shooter passes to Porter. Berea pulls it in. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. And the shot is good. The Hawks trail it. Kicks to Horford. Chris Bosch with the rebound. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Outside Matthews. Bosch, the screen. Puts it up. They get it back. Another shot. Good work defensively by Horford. And this is why you need good defenders on the interior to contest shots. Yeah, Greg, making every shot a hard one, even the shots in close. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Bosch double teamed. The basket and the foul. Dirk Nowitzki picks up that one. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Boss has been having his way out there. He's got 14 points, and his two blocks have given them a lift defensively. No doubt about it. He's been a rim protector, and it's starting to get into the heads of their opponents. And it's sent back by Lopez. And they'll keep possession. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. It's going to be Horford shooting. Jeff Green picks one up. Up top, Berea. He's guarded by Schroeder. Here's Bosch. And they will fall over the back on the play. Yeah, nothing wrong with fighting for the rebound, but he gets nailed with the over the back call. And Greg, you know I was an offensive rebounder in my day. And uh, I like that kind of aggressive play but he's got to do a little better job of trying to get position earlier in that case. That's a good point. You, you, positioning is so vital when you're trying to rebound the basketball, and that's something that wasn't on display on that possession. Lopez left side. Good, and it's Perea who picks up the assist. 16 points for Brook Lopez. I, I love that plan. Set up the opportunity for the mismatch. Yeah, knowing they have to get a bucket here and exploiting the height advantage where they can find it, well, that's a no-brainer to me. Bosch against Horford. He feeds it to Nowitzki. Shots good. Nowitzki's got 26 points. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Now, here's Berea. Right side green. Porter with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. And here we go. And that one's good. Schroeder. Schroeder's got six in the quarter. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spots. You don't always throw it to your teammate. You throw it to where he needs to be. Berea kicks to Bosch. Puts up the baby hook. No good. And Atlanta will come the other way. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. 
Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the beat. And here we go. Fast break. Berea's got it. Yes! Those are huge points. Beyond huge, partner. I mean, they needed that bucket desperately. Schroeder. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Look at what Schroeder has done so far. He's got ten points and nine assists. He's able to hit the second one, and that ties the game up. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Berea kicks to Bosch. Lopez against Horford. The second chance effort. It falls! Big bucket. They've got to play for a stop here with the two-point lead. No open three. Atlanta calls timeout. They trail by two. 19 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. Guys, your thoughts? And it all comes down to this. Still enough time on the clock that they should be able to get a real good look. Yeah, and in this case, you debate often. You hear guys debate whether to take a two for the tie or a three to win. In my case, with this situation, I think you go hard inside and see if you can get a good shot in close. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And so here's Orlando. Berea dishes the box. It falls! Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. Just four seconds left to play in the first overtime. Here's Nowitzki. Can't cash in to tie and foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That's on Brook Lopez. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And you know the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And the second of two is good. That narrows the gap to one. And so the big win by Orlando in a tight game. Kevin, we have the 2K Sports postgame show. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaq and the J. Brooke Lopez. Just a dominant display by Brooke Lopez in the post. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're.